So welcome to our GCSE photosynthesis required practical for our AQA students. This is measuring the rate of photosynthesis in a plant. Now you'll notice I have a lamp ready with the equipment and the boiling tube and the chest tube rack, some scissors, some solution, sodium carbonate, carbonate solution, a measuring cylinder, a thermometer and some tweezers, and our plant underwater from the pond, fresh from the pond, and preparing ourselves for the experiment. We also mustn't forget, put our goggles on, roll them sleeves up and make sure we wash our hands afterwards. So you'll notice I'm preparing the plant, ready for testing. I'm going to be measuring it out and snipping the end off at an angle. This will then go in the test tube actually put it in the wrong way around. You should put the snipped end upwards so you can see the bubbles clearly. And then I'm going to pour in our solution. Let's use 30 millilitres of our solution to cover the plant. then place the plant in direct light to trigger a photosynthesis reaction. There we go. I'll put it in the correct way now. And using my thermometer, which is my control variable, sorry, my control measure, I will be ensuring that we keep and maintain a, a regular temperature. Now you will notice I cut between 8 to 10 centimetres of the pondweed plant and to ensure that it is clearly visible in the boarding tube or test tube. And I've started my timer uh, using the 15 centimetres distance from the light and we can see the pondweed is starting to bubble. You can see the bubbles there clearly. We will measure for two minutes how many bubbles will have occurred. I'll count the bubbles and wait for two minutes and see how many come out. So we'll continue to record and we'll move the pondweed two centimetres back each time. So it'll be 17 centimetres, 19 centimetres, 21 and so on. And each time we measure, we'll measure the amount of bubbles per two minutes. Now, there is a way that we can maintain the temperature as a control variable, um, as a control measure, sorry, by putting a beaker of cold water in front of the pondweed between the light and the test tube. That often helps. There you can see the bubbles, and I will re-timer, restart uh, every two minutes and take a measurement of bubbles. I'll calculate a mean working out over three different sets of results, if I have the time, hopefully you do. And um, we can then measure a little bit more accurately because we know the more that we measure the mean, the more accurate the results. As a results table, you can see 
the number of bubbles per minute three times over 10 centimeters away you can see that that set of results is slightly different to the ones that we've set you can go 10 20 30 15 17 19 totally depends on you and not forgetting to continue to measure the temperature for control so thank you that is your um, required practical GCSE photosynthesis and don't forget keep your eye out for more support lessons in science